Well, hey there, schmoobies. Welcome back to another edition of Bug Bites on Sex Appeal. Today in Ento News, foresters in Pennsylvania warn that 2022 is shaping up to be a disastrous year in the Northeast for the dreaded invasive moth, Lamantria dispar. 2021 saw a terrible outbreak of the caterpillars that can completely defoliate trees, and this year is already looking to be a disaster. The particularly rough season was predicted based on observed egg mass density and anticipated drier spring weather, and now the caterpillars are already chewing through hardwoods in huge numbers. If you'd like to learn more about the predicament, check out my video from last year about the moths and the havoc they wreak. I'm also pleased to announce that beginning on March 2nd, 2022, the common name for this moth will officially be changed to Spongy Moth rather than the former name, widely considered an ethnic slur. The new name Spongy Moth refers to the spongy egg masses the moths leave pasted to trees. And in species news, a new snake fly has been described from Mexico, where at least 10 species from the genus are known to be found. This new 11th Mexican species from genus Elena was actually found to be distinct from other members of the genus back in 2021 due to the unique arrangements of the male and female genitalia, as well as abdomen shape and wing vein arrangement. Snake flies are predatory insects that resemble lace wings, belonging to order Raphidioptera who use their wacky looking long necks to help them snatch up aphids, mites, and other tiny arthropods. Though found worldwide, they tend to be more confined to forested areas at high elevation, and so are less common in modern times. And finally, a spectacular pet specimen of green bean stick insect was confirmed to be both male and female by the Natural History Museum in London. The donor of the specimen, Lauren Garfield, keeps and breeds stick insects and knew that Charlie was special after they recently molted and showed an obvious bright green female side and a brown winged male side. This phenomenon, where an individual displays sexually distinct hemispheres, is called genandromorphy, which is extremely rare in nature but tends to occur more frequently in arthropods. Charlie apparently appears to superficially show mostly larger female traits typical for their species, but with a characteristic brown wing of a male. Researchers say Charlie's dual genitals aren't quite properly formed, so they likely couldn't mate properly with an entirely female stick bug. I, for one, am curious to know what we could learn from Charlie's ongoing life cycle. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode of Bug Bites. Let me know what you thought of these stories and check out the description box down below where I'll post links to the full source articles. As always, a big, big thank you to my subscribers and especially my amazing patrons. Stay tuned for more Bug Bites and new episodes of all my other fun and sex appeal shows. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.